Assalamu alaikum. Today we're going to talk about alkenes. Last time we were talking about alkanes and uh, today we're going to know what's the difference between alkenes and alkanes. The first thing that we need to know is that alkenes are actually derivatives. So they are derivatives of alkanes. So alkanes is the starting point. And then we get to know alkenes. Why? Because we knew that the carbon, the hydrocarbon chain in alkanes has a structure like this, where each carbon has four bonds, and all of the bonds are single bonds, or as we call them, sigma bonds, as these ones. And they are very strong bonds that are hard to break and so the reactivity of um, alkanes is low. On the other hand, for, for alkenes, we'll find out that one of these bonds isn't actually a single bond, but instead it's a double bond. So this bond is called a pi bond. And so this bond is easier to be broken, so it's easier to be broken and so the reactivity of alkenes is actually higher than alkanes so they carry out more reactions so this is the main difference between alkenes and alkanes because of this um, we don't have a methane on the other hand we have a methane because in methane we have a structure that looks like this a carbon atom which is bound to four hydrogen bonds. But a carbon atom cannot form a double bond with a hydrogen atom because it has a valency of one. So the, the bond must be single. So this is why we don't have an alkene with just one carbon atom. It starts up with two carbon atoms, which is ethene. It looks like that. So two carbons and four hydrogens. So this is um, the main structure of the alkene. From this, we conclude that the formula, instead of being Cn H2 n plus 2, we don't have this 2 anymore. So here, for example, in ethene, we have two carbon and we have two carbons and double the number four hydrogens. So two, four. And it's like this for the rest of alkenes. We have three, then six hydrogens, four, then eight hydrogens, and so on. So this is the basic formula for the alkenes. So this is the basic structure of alkenes. Now we'll know how to uh, name a hydrocarbon chain of an alkene. So, nomenclature. Now, let's suppose that we have a chain like this. Yeah. First of all, we must be sure that each one of these carbons forms four bonds. This is okay, this is okay, this is right. And here we have one, two, three, four. So we count each line as a bond. So four bonds, we're good, and this one has four bonds, we are good. Now, we will put the hydrogens, and let's say that this one has a methyl group here and the rest are hydrogens like that now how to name this chain first of all we're gonna start to uh, count the carbons from uh, right to left so we have one two three four five and we'll count them from the other uh, direction one two three four five and then we will pick up the numbers that will give the carbon atom that has the double bond the least value. So now we're not looking at the methyl 
uh, group. We're not looking at the substitute anymore. We're looking at the bond. So we'll pick up this numbering here from right to left. So we'll have the double bond at the first carbon and the methyl group at the fourth carbon. So this chain will be named 4 methyl 4 methyl 1 and then we have 5 carbons so it's a pentene 4 methyl 1 pentene so this is how you name an alkene hydrocarbon chain you pick up the least numbering that gives uh, you pick up the uh, numbering that gives the carbon with the double bond the least value and you just put the number of the substitutes and before the name of the alkene you put the number of the carbon that has the double bond. So here's one, we put one dash pentene and that's it. So uh, this is it. Next time we're going to talk about uh, how to prepare ethene in the laboratory. So until then I thank you for watching and see you.